Kabul's army of dog killers at work, tasked with ridding the city's streets of strays. First, they trap them with nets and snares. Then, they force poison down their throats. It can take up to an hour for the dogs to die, as they're thrown onto trucks and dumped on waste tips on the outskirts of the city. Ghazal Sharifi used to play every day with a litter of puppies until she arrived to find the dog patrol. The baby dog was trying to escape, so I just stopped them and I uh, took that uh, baby dog and I asked them this a very cruel thing. Uh, and of course, that was very inhuman scene. I started crying and I got I, uh, the baby dog on my laps. I just sat there on the street. They were actually laughing at me. At night, the dog catchers sometimes use different tactics, leaving poisoned meat lying around the streets. Then, all they need to do is come back in the morning to collect the bodies. In Islam, the animals are regarded as unclean. Afghans generally only keep them to provide security or for organized dog fights rather than as pets. City authorities say they must protect residents from disease and control the rocketing canine population. Nearly 18,000 dogs were poisoned last year. We've had good results after receiving so many complaints from residents. We had thousands of phone calls and dozens of letters from people complaining about the stray dogs in Kabul. When children go to school in the morning, they're attacked by the stray dogs. So for the safety of our people, we have to kill these dogs. Animal welfare experts condemn the coal, not only as wantonly cruel, but also futile. The workers at this rescue shelter say the coal dogs are simply replaced with new packs from outside the city. They insist a better solution would be to trap, neuter, vaccinate and release the strays. There is a risk to public health with poison meat being put out. You know, somebody sheep or whatever could come along and eat it, or some child or whatever could pick something up and they're not supposed to and eat it. We've also, you know, it's horrific for the dogs. For now, though, the authorities seem unconvinced, and the war against Kabul's canines goes on.